I'm David Dodge. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, but I've lived in New York City for the last 11 years or so now. Um, and um, I very recently became a papa uh, four months ago. Um, I am a sperm donor to two of my very good friends, Tori and Kelly, uh, who um, approached me a couple years ago about about being their donor. Um, and you know, it was it's kind of a funny thing that they asked me because I've never really considered myself to be good with kids and people are always telling me like what an amazing father I'd make and I'm like oh you've never really seen me hold one like I don't really know how to <laughs> like I'm not a kid person at all or hadn't wasn't before this um, so um, and, which I think is part of the reason they originally asked me actually is they they thought you know this isn't gonna be someone that's gonna like run away with our kid because he doesn't even like him um, but so over the course of um, the process of uh, helping them conceive and since uh, she's been born four months ago I'm just head over heels in love with her and uh, it's, both of our perspectives have changed. Um, I, I want to be involved, I am involved, they want me to be involved as well, they want me to be known to her as, um, as her papa, uh, my family's involved, my parents are now known as grandma and grandpa, it's all, it's all um, been just far better than I could have ever imagined um, going into this and uh, but it is very funny to me like if you were to tell me three years ago that I'd be sitting here talking to gays with kids, <laughs> I would have laughed in your face because that's it just wasn't in my future at all. So, um, but I'm glad it is now, and it's uh, very exciting for me, and it's also been um, a really uh, therapeutic process to write about what it's like to be a sperm donor uh, with gays with kids and, and some of the other outlets I've worked for. Also, right now I'm working on a series with uh, gays with kids that is profiling different uh, gay fathers that live in rural areas um, or you know not cities places that you don't typically think you're gonna find gay families um, and uh, it's been very interesting for me to profile um, these men be I'm, I'm from a smaller suburb outside of Salt Lake City Utah it's not exactly rural but it's a small town um, and you know I couldn't it would it would be hard for me to imagine doing what they're doing in, in the type of town that I'm from and so you know I'm, I'm living in New York City as a sperm donor and you know I can walk hand in hand with you know someone that I'm dating or with like two lesbians pushing a baby stroller no one no one you know notices or says anything and a lot of these gay men are uh, the only gay fathers they know in town um, and uh, and it's just very interesting um, to hear their stories and and but I think most interestingly it's that these are families that are doing this successfully they're living in small town rural uh, USA as gay fathers and by and large though there are there are um, issues from time to time um, associated with being in such a small town. They they they're doing really well, um, and they're examples of how you know you can be a gay dad in a big city, you can be a gay dad in a small town, um, and uh, and it can work out. So yeah, I would encourage everyone to check out their stories. Um, you can follow the link um, on the YouTube page um, to check out these stories and others that I've written with gays and kids.